Hello. Hello, Rebecca, can you hear me? Rebecca. Rebecca, are you there? Hello, Gloria. Hi, Gloria. Can you hear me? Can you listen? Gloria. Hello, Gloria. Rebecca. Can you hear me, girls? Me escucha, Gloria. Hola. Rebeca. Hola, hola. Can you hear me? Gloria, um, su micrófono, el micrófono. Haga clic donde mira el micrófono. Veo un micrófono en la barra de herramientas. Hi. Ahora. Ahora sí le escucho. Hello. Hello. How are you? Fine. Thank you. And you? Fine. And, um, I am a nervous. Ah, really? Is your first time um, in online classes? Yes. It's my first time in online class. Ah, okay. So before online classes, did you study English in an academy or somewhere else? Oh, eh, I study, eh, I was study in a academy, but in other academy, eh, how much years ago? Oh, many, oh, oh, what, long time ago. So it's your first time in, in online. Uh, it's okay. So there you can see your classmates. You can, can you see Rene? Hi, teacher. Hello, nice to see Hi. you again. I'm pretty good. And hey, then welcome. you see Juan Ismael. <laughs> welcome to you too. How was your vacation? Well, that's was uh, okay. Good. I enjoyed the vacation too. <laughs> I enjoy it too. <laughs> okay, <laughs> then we have a new classmate. Yes. It's Gloria. Can you say hi to Gloria and ask some questions to Gloria? Hello, Gloria. How are hey. you? Welcome, Gloria. How are you? Thank you. Thank you. Uh, I am fine. Okay. okay Another question for Gloria. Uh, Rebecca? No. What do you do? Where are you from? <laughs> Where are you from, Gloria? Okay, I am from uh, El Salvador. I am live in San Marcos. I live. Okay. I live in San Marcos. Okay, I live in San Marcos. All right. Okay, um, my name, it's a my name is Rene. And I live in Serapango City. <laughs> Serapango City. Oh, nice to meet you. Hi, nice to meet you too. Joan? Hello, teacher. I Would live in Tonacayor City. 
Gloria, I'm from Conagatepeque. Okay. Nice to meet you. And welcome to the classmate. Thank you. Ricardo. Ah, okay, Ricardo is like analyzing something there. <laughs> How was your day, Ricardo? How was your day? Uh, it's uh, sick. Oh, you're not feeling well. You're sick. Yeah. You have flu, Ricardo. A few. You get fever. Flu, flu, fever. Ah, okay. Ah, okay. Oh. You have dengue. Ah, uh, irritado. No sé cómo se llama. Wow. <laughs> oh. Um. Well. Let's just start, uh, Gloria. Um. Nice to meet you, and it's nice to have you here in classes. I know that you are nervous. It's the first time that you take online classes. Um, look, there are some tools that uh, you will learn how to use them. Um, for example, um, usted puede hacer mute en su micrófono, usted lo puede silenciar. Si de repente escucha mucho ruido, hay que silenciarlo, ¿verdad? Okay. Eh, lo ideal es de que no, no la interrumpan mientras está en clase, eso se habla con la familia. Hay muchas herramientas acá con las que nosotros vamos trabajando. Ahí la va a ir descubriendo poco a poco en la barra de herramientas, ¿verdad? Eh, eh, lo ideal es de que antes de la clase usted revise la plataforma, vea los ejercicios, practique y si le queda alguna duda o no hay algo claro, para eso sirven estas clases. But my question is, did you check the platform before the class? No, sorry, <laughs> because for me, uh, the uh, connect online, uh, I was uh, very, very busy, very nervous. Was it difficult? Very difficult, yeah. Okay, you will learn with the time, right? Vamos a ir aprendiendo con el tiempo. So don't worry. Uh, if there are any questions, no sé si la inscribieron en el, está en el grupo de WhatsApp. Uh, I received a, a link. You received a link? Yeah, but I don't... Uh, Ah, you didn't hit the click the link. Okay, but the WhatsApp group, el grupo de WhatsApp sirve para ayuda. Hasta el momento nos ha funcionado muy bien. Se está utilizando solo con propósitos académicos. Es una buena herramienta. Nadie está mandando memes ni nada referente que no sea a los contenidos de la plataforma. Así es que puede unirse al grupo, sus compañeros le van a ayudar con mucho gusto por cualquier duda que tenga, Gloria. Igual yo, si usted tiene alguna duda eh, para explicarle algún ejercicio, con mucho gusto. Para eso sirve el grupo de WhatsApp. Así es okay. que si usted desea unirse, tiene que hacer clic ahí. ¿Ok? Ok, thank you. ¿Alguna otra pregunta que tenga, Gloria, antes de que empecemos la clase? Eh, no, por el momento no. Okay. So, guys, you said that you didn't check the platform before the class today, right? Okay. Why not, Rene? Good. <laughs> <laughs> we were busy. Uh, so, so. Okay, it's Monday. So. Yeah. It's a good excuse. It's Monday. It's a crazy day. It's usually crazy on Mondays. <laughs> yes, the traffic. The traffic. Uh -huh. Okay, so we will start with the content from the, from the platform, as I was saying before. Um, uh, 
I'm going to share the screen. Hay una función que se llama compartir pantalla. Ok, ustedes van a ver la pantalla ahorita. Um, so, this conversation is in the platform. Ok. Ok. Mm -hmm. so, uh -huh. I hardly ever exercise. In my case, I never exercise. <laughs> I promise it's going to change next week. Next week, I promise. I promise I'm going to exercise. <laughs> okay. What is your excuse, Tisha? I don't have time. <laughs> no, well, I have time. Yes, I have time. Always the same time. excuse. Okay. It's very focused on my exercise. Yes. Uh, I don't like to exercise. It's yeah. something that I don't like to, but I will do it from next week on. I promise. Yeah. I will tell you. Okay. Uh, and what about you, Renee? How often do you exercise? Okay. Hey, hey Mary. Hardly ever. <laughs> Never. No. Not much. Not much. Okay. Ah. <laughs> Do you practice any sport? Uh, basketball. Ah, okay. Basketball. Juan, do you practice any sport? Yes, teacher. I practice uh, football, football soccer on weekends. Um, sometimes I go to bike. Here you in go the, biking? Okay. Yeah, That's biking nice. here in the town. Okay, Rebecca, what about you? Do you exercise? I exercise, practice natation, natation. Swimming. Ah, you practice swimming. Swimming, okay. Swimming. Yes, swimming. Mm -hmm. Swimming. That's okay. nice, Rebecca. That's a very complete and it's relaxing too. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yes. <laughs> Guadalupe, what about you? Where, what, what sport do you play or what activity, any physical activity that you do? Mm. Hello, teacher. Uh, like, um, football. Oh, wow, you practice football. Great, only that one? Only football, no more? No. Okay, good. What about you, Bettina? Do you practice any sport? Do you exercise? Well, it's a, I think that you're having some issues with the audio because we cannot hear you. Yeah, yeah now we can hear you. Okay, teacher, uh, I practice Sometimes swimming too. Oh, you practice swimming. That's nice. Nice. Excellent. What about you, Ricardo? Ricardo. Okay, let's uh, listen to this conversation. Let us practice pronunciation. But before that, what do you see in the picture? Uh, Paul doing exercise and how is yeah, Mary and Mary watching TV. Uh, okay. Like, like the like the dish. Like <laughs> yeah. Okay. Um, let's practice the conversation. You really fit, Paul. Do you exercise a lot? You really fit, Paul. Do you exercise a lot? Well, I almost always get up early and lift weights for an hour. Well, I almost always get up early. I always get up early and lift weights for an hour. Seriously? Seriously? Sure, and I sure, and then I go often go swimming. Sure, sure. There and are I, then I often go swimming. swimming. Wow. Wow. 
Wow. Um, How often do you exercise like that? How often do you exercise like that? Like that? About five minutes a week. What about you? I will about five minutes, minutes a week. A week. A what week. about you? What about, about you? you? Oh, I hardly ever exercise. Oh, oh I hardly, hardly, hardly ever exercise. exercise. Right. I just watch TV in my free time. I you watch TV, watch TV in, in my free, free time. time. Mm -hmm. I guess I'm a real couch potato. I guess I, I, am, guess a, I am a real couch, couch potato. potato. Okay, what is a couch potato? I don't know. Uh, it is papa. Pata, papa. <laughs> Patata. <laughs> Okay, if we translate potato is papa, patata, right? Patata, yeah. Yes. And coach. Um, coach? Okay, you can yeah. call coach to the sofa. It's another way ah, to call okay. sofa. Mm -hmm. Ah, okay. So, sofa potato. But it doesn't have any sense if we translate soy una patata mm. de sofa. <laughs> Uh, yeah. <laughs> okay, that's how we, you I call the uh, uh -huh, you call uh, couch potato to people who doesn't exercise, who spend mm. time lying in a sofa, lying in bed, doing nothing. Mm. That's a couch potato. Ah, okay. Uh huh, and a very inactive person, physically inactive. That's a couch potato. Ah, okay. Coach mm -hmm. Potato. Mm -hmm. yeah. Yes. Okay. Tú eres, como tú eres un saco de patatas. Ah, yeah, it can be. Uh -huh, un saco de papas. <laughs> okay. Um, I'm a Coach Potato. Coach Potato. Okay. 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 Let's, uh, do you have any question regarding to vocabulary? Yeah. Eh, mm. Harley. Eh, Harley. Oh, I Harley. Ever exercise? Uh, hardly ever. Do. It's a, like okay. a frequency advert. We are going to practice frequency adverbs today. Mm -hmm. When you say hardly ever, es como casi nunca o apenas. Ah, okay. Uh -huh. That is hardly ever. Okay. Mm -hmm. Hardly ever. Yeah. Okay, clear. A duras penas. A duras penas, sí, casi nunca. Hardly ever. I guess. I guess es como yo creo o ajá yo creo yo pienso y similar when it's the same thing. I guess. Yo espero también. Casi como yo espero. I hope. Eso es esperanza. Ajá. Eso no es esperanza. Yes, ajá. Ok. Espero. Ajá. I lift. I lift. Wait for an hour. Lift weights. Ajá. Es como levantar pesas durante una hora más o menos. Ajá. Lift is the action. Weight, the object. Okay. Levantar, lift. Weights, son pesas. Mm -hmm. okay. Okay. I lift weights for an lift. hour. Mm -hmm. I lift okay. weights. Okay, let's see. Volunteers to practice the conversation. Okay, uh, I'll pull. Okay, Rene and... Uh, Ricardo? Okay, yo. Okay, you okay, start, Ricardo. Okay. You are really fit. People, do you exercise a lot? Well, I almost always get up early. And I live where it's four in an hour. Seriously? Sure. And they often go swimming. Wow. How often do you exercise like that? I want five times a week. What well, about you? Oh, I only ever say. 
ever exercise. I hardly I usually, ever exercise. I hardly ever exercise. I usually just watch TV in my free time. I guess I am I a real good coach potato. A real coach potato. A real coach potato. Okay, very well. Then we okay. got Bettina. Bettina and Juan Ismael. Do you exercise a lot? Well, I almost early and I lift weight for an hour. Sure. Um then I often go swimming. Wow. How often do you exercise like that? About five times a week. What about you? Exercise. I usually just watch TV in my full time. I guess I am a real a coach potato. Okay, very well. Well done. Now, another two volunteers. Hello, teacher. Okay, uh, uh -huh. Guadalupe. Rebecca. <laughs> okay. You can I, start, Guadalupe. Start. Let's start. You really fit, Paul. Do you exercise a lot? We a lot and guys get a really in with me for our. Okay. Uh, one more time, Rebecca. Well. Well, I almost always get up early. I, I almost get up early. Always, I almost always get up early. I almost wake up, get up early. I almost always get up early. I almost get up early. And lift weights for an hour. And eat legs for an hour. Guadalupe? Ser serio seriously. 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 Uh-huh. Seriously. Sure. And then often go swimming. 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 Wow. Wow. How often do you exercise like ducks? <clears throat> Out, out, five times a week. Five times a week. Uh huh. Five times a week. What about you? What about you? Oh, I hardly ever exercise. I usually go usually. usually, usually, go to TV in my free time. I guess. I am real coach potatoes. Okay, in my free time. In my free time. Okay, well, very good. We're gonna continue practicing. So um, let's move to uh, another thing. As you see, uh, we're gonna be practicing adverbs of frequency. For that, let me share the screen with you. So. Uh, you can see this information. Okay. Adverbs of frequency, how to use them. We're gonna learn some grammatical rules about the uses of frequency adverbs. It means uh, we use some frequency adverbs to describe how frequently we do an activity. Okay. These are called adverbs of frequency and include these are the adverbs of frequency. Let's practice pronunciation. Let's repeat. Always. 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 Usually. 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 Normally. 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 Generally. 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 Often. 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 Frequently. 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 
Sometimes. 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 Occasionally. 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 Seldom. 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 Hardly ever. Hardly, Hardly ever. ever. Rarely. 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 Never. 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 Okay, those are the some of the frequency adverbs that we're going to practice. And we what have about, what about the asterisk teacher? Uh, the asterisk is it means um normalmente estos adverbios de frecuencia la estructura que siguen es esta. Primero va el sujeto, luego el frequency adverbs. Después del adverbio de frecuencia, usted pone un verbo y luego el complemento. Ese es el orden que lleva este tipo, porque son dos tipos de frequency adverbs que vamos a estudiar. Estos, estos de esta lista, el orden que llevan es este, sujeto, adverbio, verbo y complemento. Pero el often puede ir antes del sujeto. Es una excepción. Only often. Eh, sí. Pero uh -huh. what about the pronunciation? How do you pronounce with T? Often. 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 Como con F. Often. Often. Uh -huh. Often. Often. Uh, often. La, la T casi no suena. Often. De hecho, no, no se pronuncia. Often. Okay. Mm -hmm. how, do you, how do you translate <laughs> seldom in Spanish? Ajá. Uh -huh. Ajá, ok. Aquí lo que tienen es como en, en porcentaje, ¿verdad? Ya, yeah, ya, yeah, ya. Yeah, si yo digo is... seldom, eh, sería poco. como raro o, o muy poco. Ah, ok. Ajá, y hardly sí. ever es como casi nunca o rara. Casi, casi nada. Ajá. Nunca. Y never, que es cero, nunca de algo que usted nunca, nunca hace. Uh -huh. Ok. Los que pueden iniciar una oración son often y también usually, pero okay. por alguna razón ahí el usually no está marcado. Okay. Y about pronunciation, lo que le estaba diciendo también con often, aquí está el asterisco. Some people pronounce the T in often, often. but many others do not. Often, often. Okay. Ah, Ajá, lo okay. puede decir, eh, algunas personas pronuncian la T, algunas, pero muchas otras no. Okay. O sea, usted puede oír que often. alguien dice often o puede decir often. Lo mm -hmm. normal es often, con F. Okay. 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 En estos son conocidos como una frecuencia indefinida. Indefinida. Ajá. O sea, usted solo puede tener una idea del porcentaje de veces. Lo único que podríamos decir que la idea es bien clara es always y never, ¿vean? Always, 100% y never, it's like zero. You zero don't do that. Uh -huh. Se dicen indefinidos. Vamos a ver los indefinidos y los definidos. Okay. Los definidos llevan esta... Eh, estructura gramatical, ¿verdad? El adverbio va después del sujeto, seguido del verbo y luego un complemento. Como ven aquí los ejemplos. Mm -hmm. And um, we can practice pronunciation. Let's repeat. Always. 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 I always go to bed before 11 p.m. I always go, always to, bed go to bed before 11 p.m. Usually. 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 I usually have cereal for breakfast. I usually have cereal for breakfast. Normally. Normally. Generally. Generally. I normally go to the gym. I normally go to the gym. Often. Often. Frequently. Frequently. I often surf the internet. I often the the internet. Internet. Sometimes. 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 I sometimes forget my wife's birthday. I, I sometimes, sometimes forget, forget my wife's birthday. Occasionally. 
Occasionally. I occasionally eat junk food. I occasionally eat junk food. Eat junk food. Seldom. 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 I seldom read the newspaper. I seldom read the newspaper. Hardly ever. Hardly, hardly ever. ever. Rarely. 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 I hardly ever drink alcohol. I hardly, I hardly ever, ever drink alcohol. alcohol. Never. 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 I never swim in the sea. I, I never, never swim, swim in the sea. sea. I never swim in the sea. All right. Fisher. Yes. How can you translate it? Junk food. It's like okay. a trash food. Yes, it's like fast food, hamburgers, pizzas, snacks, sodas. That's junk food. Like a trash food. No food. healthy. Okay. No healthy. Junk Bad food. for you. Chatarra. Junk food. Mm, junk. Okay. Mm -hmm. Delicious chatarra, teacher. Right. Yes, like bacon. <laughs> <laughs> Spanish Chuco de Santana. I don't know why. Porque lo que es malo es tan bueno. <laughs> Difícil no comer chicharrones. Yeah. Y tan malo que es el cerdo. Mm -hmm. Pero oh. en pupitas, el tocino, las costillas. Ah. Uy, I don't like <laughs> it. Y luego las arterias tapadas, ¿verdad? I don't like the pig. Okay, that's good for you. <laughs> Okay, let's watch this presentation about how to use the adverbs of frequency. Well, in English, we can see, there you have, they are indefinite frequency adverbs, right? Okay. And they describe how frequently you do an activity or the frequency of your habits. Mm, we can have some examples about it. Uh, I always, uh, uh, for example, I, I always uh, to drive the car every day. I always drive car every day. Okay, here you have a... Okay. This the percentage is to give you an idea, approximately an idea. Like for example, you can use the frequency adverse to talk about your habits, something that you can uh, probably do 100% of the time. You can say, I always, brush my teeth at night which is always mm. always always oh. and the opposite is never always and the opposite is never never mm. for example vegetarians never eat meat, meat. Mm. Mm -hmm. okay okay when something happens a half of the time, you can use sometimes. For example, I sometimes sing in the shower. Mm. Half okay. the time, not always, but probably one day I do, next day I don't do it, next day I do, next day I don't. Okay. Okay. Is when you uh, do something, not the zero percent, but it's probably happened from time to time, you use hardly ever. For example, I hardly, I hardly ever, ever get, get angry. angry. Get angry. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. Probably you are a very, very patient person. Mm -hmm. There is a very small chance that you get angry, but it can happen. Let's see another. Yellow. 
the other adverbs of frequency that we have here are usually. It's when something happens around 90% of the time, you can use the adverb usually. Can you read the example, Guadalupe? Usually. Uh-huh. I usually walk to work. Uh -huh. About 80% of the time you use normally. For example, John. I normally get good marks. Yes. I'm, mm -hmm. I'm often went to my mother's house. I often read in bed at night. Mm -hmm. I often read in bed at night. Do you read in bed at night? No, not no. often. <laughs> I never. Hardly, I'm ne I hardly ever read in bed at night. Okay. Often is more common than frequently. Then we have occasionally about a 30%. For example, I occasionally go to bed late. For example, Friday night, Saturday night. Seldom, it's for about 10% of the frequency. For example, I seldom add salt to my food. It means that it's not common to do that for you. These are verbs like seldom, hardly ever, rarely, and never. They have a negative meaning. And this is the word order for these adverbs of frequency. Generally, the adverb of frequency goes before the main verb. This is the order that they commonly follow. Subject plus adverb and main verb, as I told you before. And we have one example when you can see clearly the structure. Subject, I. Um, Albert. But what is the frequency? You need to use an Albert. Mm -hmm. so the main verb is read. I place it between the subject and the verb, right? First, you get the subject then the adverb, and then the main verb. Daniel, subject, adverb, always, member, passes. Mm -hmm. okay. Another, they never speak Spanish in class. Never English. And, Auxiliary verb, like for example, have, have, must, might, will, can, should, and could, it goes before the adverb. Okay, we got subject, then auxiliary verb, then adverb, and then the main verb. This is a present perfect tense. Mm -hmm. In that case, you put the adverb of frequency in the middle. Uh, in this example, uh, the auxiliary verb is have. Uh, the, the auxiliary is have. The ah, okay. verb is yeah, done. done. Mm -hmm. ah. Okay. Is the uh, um, present perfect tense? When you are using the present perfect, this is the structure that you need to follow. But this is like extra information because we are going to be using simple present, not this structure. Vamos a utilizar la estructura para presente simple. 
no vamos a utilizar esta. Ahora, cuando va el verbo to be, el, el verbo, el, el orden cambia. Cuando estamos usando el verbo to be más un adverbio de frecuencia, el orden cambia. Uh -huh. La estructura sería subject, verb be, and adverb. Okay. For example, I am busy at work. So you see subject, I, then, mm -hmm. um, we have to be. and then the adverb, normally. I am normally busy at work. That is incorrect, the other form. So it's two different things, right? Okay. Always happy. So, like making a summary, vamos a hacer como un resumen de, de lo que vimos eh, en cuanto a las estructuras. Ok, el orden en el que, en el que van estos adverbs es, ¿qué decía que era? Sujeto. Eh. Más que auxiliar. Adverb. 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 Complement. Adverb. Adverb. And then complement. Uh, complement. Por ejemplo, vamos a hacer una oración. Can you give me one example, Ricardo? I, I often, <laughs> I often play soccer on Friday. Okay, I often play on Friday. You see the subject I, the adverb often, and the verb play. Complement on Friday. Cuando va el verbo to be, esto cambia. Primero va el subject. Luego, el verbo to be. O sea, am, is, are. Y luego, eh, adverb. el adverb. Y luego, el complement. Ajá. Ok. Estás haciendo ya como un... Resumen, ¿verdad? Este es sujeto. Pero al final son ustedes lo mismo. Sí, solo que cuando usted utiliza el verbo to be, la estructura, el orden cambia. cambia. Ajá, porque eh, eh, acá en esta estructura, el verbo principal va después del adverb. Si va a utilizar el verbo to be, tiene que ir antes del adverb. Entonces yo diría, I am always tired on Mondays, for example. I am always tired on Mondays. Siempre estoy cansada los lunes. For example, I am always tired on Monday. No puedo seguir esta estructura y decir, I always am. No, cambia. I am always busy. I am always busy. Uh -huh. That's another possibility. I am always busy. Um, Rene is always happy. Guadalupe is always on time for classes. Y así sucesivamente con el verbo to be. Okay? okay. Es un poquito diferente. Okay, now let's continue with the exercises here. Luego de la lectura, ustedes ven los adverbs of frequency. Ven la pantalla, niños. No, ¿verdad? ¿Ven el libro? No. 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 Ok, voy a repetir. A René veo. A René. 
Ok, no sé qué hice. Ok. Uh, ahora sí, ahí están. Como les decía, los estos llevan el orden que dijimos, ¿verdad? Ever, sometimes, often, hardly ever y never. Que son los indefinidos. Pero hay unos definidos que son estos que están aquí. Si usted wow. dice every day, está bien clara, la frecuencia está bien definida, es todos los días. Todos los días. Uh -huh. Si yo digo once a week, es una vez a la semana. Una vez a la semana. Más que claro, no me da una idea con porcentaje, sino que me lo da bien definido. Si digo twice a month, Twice a month. Twice, I, I don't know. Twice. Dos ah. veces. Dos veces. Uh -huh. ah, ok. Esto va así. Si es una sí. vez, dice once. Dos veces, twice. Si ah, es okay. tres, no dice thrice. <ríe> Ahí decimos three times. Ah, ok. Tres veces, three times. Cuatro veces, four times. Cinco veces, five times. Lo okay. único que cambian es una vez, se dice once. once. Dos veces, twice. De ahí todos okay. los días, three times, four times, five times, y así sucesivamente. Si ustedes se fijan, van al final de la oración. Sí. Dice, I, sujeto, lift, Lift weights, levantar pesas es el verbo. I lift weights. Y luego el adverbio de frecuencia va al final porque es de los definidos. ¿Ok? Eso es para ir al final okay. de la oración. Ok, so um, vamos a practicar esto en el tiempo que nos resta con, eh, poniendo acá, put the adverbs in the correct place. Vamos a poner el adverbio en el lugar correcto en estas oraciones. Y también aquí tienen la forma de pregunta. Si le pregunta how often es con qué frecuencia. How often do you exercise? How often do you exercise? Um, cuando yo puedo preguntar con how often, pero también puedo preguntar si alguna vez. Do you ever? Cuando usted pregunta alguna do vez. ¿Alguna vez uh, ves televisión en las tardes? Do you ever? Es como preguntar, ¿alguna vez? Ah, oh, yes, I often. Oh, no, I don't. Right? Esas dos formas de preguntar para saber la frecuencia con la que una persona hace las actividades. Can be how often? O do you ever? Ahora, con esta información que tenemos acá, en la Número uno, ¿a dónde iría el ever? Do you play? Do you play ever sports? Uh -uh. Do, you play ever, do you ever play sports? Do you ever? El ever va acá. Entonces lo escribimos en el cuaderno ya en el, en el lugar que le corresponde. Do you ever? Pueden ver aquí para que se vayan guiando. ¿A dónde van a poner el adverb que está ahí en paréntesis? Aquí pueden ver la uh -huh. gramática. Uh -huh. Ok. Ok. Some minutes. Sure, I play soccer a week. Sure, I play soccer twice a week. What do you sure. do on Saturday? I play twice a week soccer. What do you usually do? What do you do? You should do. On Saturday mornings, nothing always. I always, I always, I always sleep. I always sleep. I sleep until noon. Sure. Sure. 
No, I never. So, I play soccer. I play. Do you do a little digging? How often do you? 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 I'm hardly ever. No, I'm hardly ever. Exercise, exercise. No, I, I exercise on Sunday. I never exercise. <clears throat> Finish? Yes, teacher. Okay, let us check your work. Um, volunteer for the number one? I'll try, teacher. Okay, John. Do you ever play soccer? Mm -hmm. Sure. Twice a week I play soccer. Mm. No? Estos sí. los definidos van al final de la oración. I play okay. soccer, I play soccer twice, twice a week. Ajá, uh -huh. exacto así. I play soccer twice a week. Ajá. Uh -huh. Twice a week. Okay. Mhm. Uh -huh. uh, the number, the number two. Uh, what do you, what do you do usually on Saturday morning? What do you usually do? What do you usually do? No, what do you do? What do you do usually? No. No, what do you usually do? What do you What do you usually do on Sunday morning? What do you usually do on Sunday? What do you usually do on Sunday? What do you what do you usually do? Yes. Uh-huh. What do you usually do? Nothing much. Okay. I Very almost much. always sleep until I now. I sleep uh -huh. always until now. Nothing much. Nothing much. I always, I almost always sleep. Nothing until much. I, I sleep now. always uh -huh. until I now. Almost always. Casi siempre. Mm-hmm. 
The number no, three. No. Number three. Do, do you, you open the rubbish at the gym? Do you often do? Do you often do? Uh -huh. Do you often do? Do you often do aerobics at the gym? No. no. I hardly do aerobics. I hardly ever do aerobics. I hardly ever do aerobics. Do and number four? Do you always, do you always exercise, exercise on Sundays? On Sundays? No. I never exercise. No, on I Sunday. never exercise on Sunday. Okay, that's it. Uh, so for tomorrow, as you have copied those questions, como ya copiaron las preguntas en su cuaderno, las tienen que responder, pero con su propia información utilizando un frequency adverb. Okay. Mm -hmm. That's uh, for tomorrow. Oh. Okay. Okay. okay, is there any question? Mañana vamos a seguir practicando. Lo que van a hacer es a responder las preguntas con su propia información. Okay? Okay. Okay, so see you tomorrow. See you tomorrow, teacher. Have a good night. See you, teacher. Good night. Good night. Good night.